What's up guys, it's Pooch Cake, I'm back and showing you a video, I have a very nice White Plains uh, card show recap to show you guys, just got home, so had everything sitting in my trunk, but uh, now it's time to show you just my haul, uh, show is very good to me, it's the first time I spent all of the money that I brought and intended to spend for a show in a very long time, and I'm very ashamed and proud to say that, so without further ado, uh, let me show you guys what I got. All memorabilia, no certified cards. I'm sorry for card collectors. But if you go right around here, there's going to be a couple pieces that are absolutely insane that I'm sure everybody would appreciate seeing. So, without further ado, let me show you guys what I got. First and foremost, uh, when you walked in, they had a bunch of pictures for all the autograph guests there that you could buy to get signed for like five bucks each. And Mariano Rivera was one of the guests. And they had a whole collection of pictures from his last game and from his Appreciation Day Yankee Stadium, both of which I was at. So I decided to just grab every single picture from each of those two games. This was the only picture from his Appreciation Day. It's him walking in. This one is him throwing his last professional pitch. This one is him crying on Pettit's shoulder. And this is Jeter and Pettit coming to take him out of the game. All the pictures are by Steiner, too. Actually, really nice. I was considering buying a canvas of them, of the uh, last picture, but because they were 80 bucks. But once I went out to buy one, they were sold out. So, autographs now. The free guest with a paid admission was Ruben Sierra. I had him sign a card for me. And I also added him because since my dad and I went, we had two tickets. I also added him to the Yankee Stadium poster. And while I'm showing you guys this, I also added Bob Watson, GM of the Yankees in 96, and he played a few seasons with them in the 80s. Added him to the poster, which is coming along very nicely. And to my dad's Mickey Mantle 16, we were able to add Horace Clark, old-time Yankee. Came out really nice. Really like the way those turned out. Both are coming along pretty nicely. So, what else, what else, what else? Okay, 8x10s. Picked up a couple of nice pictures. Uh, just got them, like, small purchases. Grabbed this Joe Morris. Scribed New York Giants, number 20. 8x10. Grabbed that for 5 bucks. Couldn't really pass it up. Can't go wrong for a $5 8x10. Signed by Giant Super Bowl champion. Next, I saw this, started laughing, and had to buy it. It was $6.00. An uh, autographed 8x10. For those of you who don't know the backstory to this, when Bobby Valentine was managing the Mets, he was ejected from a game and five minutes later popped back into the dugout wearing a fake mustache and sunglasses. So I had him sign that image and not had him sign. I bought the image already signed by him. So really like pretty funny image to have. Pretty good conversation piece if I don't say so myself. All right, now... Here's the big three, as I like to call them. The three pieces that did me in. Uh, start with the one that you guys can pretty much predict. Uh, the reason I went there, Mariano Rivera was doing a public signing. Yes, I did pay too much, but he's my hero, so it's okay because I got to meet him. But had him sign for the project, 2009 World Series Baseball. Came out absolutely beautiful, as all Mariano Rivera signatures do. If I wasn't going to have him sign the ball, I would have had him sign a 16 by 20 of one of the pictures that I had because those were looking at, he was signing them so big and they were looking so beautiful. All right, next, I uh, went to a table and guys had World Series balls, fairly cheap, signed by Yankees. I was able to grab this, Mr. MVP Hideki Matsui. Got that at a fairly good price for a Hideki Matsui autograph, signed 09 World Series ball. Didn't come out the best, but looks all right. So I'll have that cubed up. And lastly, I was I was walking by a table and I just caught this out of the corner of my eye and looked down at the price tag and I saw what it was priced at and, and I I had to get it because for the price that I bought this at, if I wanted to sell it, which I wouldn't, I could probably get double or triple what I paid. But it is an 11 by 14 autographed, nonetheless, by Ichiro. Absolutely gorgeous. Him tipping his cap on a curtain call. Certified by Ichiro and JSA. I'm still in shock that I was able to bring this home. I've been wanting an Ichiro autograph for a while. Though his autograph isn't much of an autograph. But like I said, really, really happy that I got to bring that home.
All right, so I think I had a pretty good show. So please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Peace.